Hi everybody, welcome back to this demonstration of Voltrolysis where in this video we're going to be trying this cell after one day of conditioning on my incredibly high voltage resonance circuit that I have two microwave transformers for. Let's go ahead and have a look and then we'll look at the power draw. I mean, can you even believe the amount of hydrogen that is coming off of this? This is for one day, guys, of conditioning. One day, 24 hours. In fact, maybe 23. Okay, so are you ready for what the best part about this is after seeing all of this volume of gas? Listen to that. Look at how many bubbles there are. Okay, 31. Now let's turn it off and see what the supplies take at idle. Okay, so 11.6. Power it back on again. Oh, now it wants to take 27. So 17 watts of power. Look at what you can do with 17 watts of power. That's breaking Faraday's maximum by at least 300%. That's with my eyes. I haven't even hooked up a meter everything give this a week and oh, I'll tell you this will be probably the best cell I've ever made with my impedance matching resonance high voltage circuit call it what you want guys but this is I've never seen anything like this before with five cells in series and that is across every single cell I'll even try to get on the back here. I hope that's focusing good. Now I do apologize for not having the scope hooked up, but I promise you it's high voltage spikes like always. Back EMF harvesting off of a by filer coil. That magnetic collapse is what helps these cells to generate the oxide coating and the hydrogen forms amazingly. Can only get it from high voltage with resonance. My input is 12 volts, not 24. I'm not hooked up with a 24 configuration. 12 volts going into my circuit. The output is 300 volts or more with resonance. I'll show you the bifiler coil. That's the sky right here. Turning off my fan so you can hear the frequency change. It's about a couple thousand hertz and then 1000 hertz. I find a thousand hertz to be the best with just about any average dielectric property of water. Holy cow. It's going to be real fun to check back on this in a week. I'll have a circuit diagram in the description 
absolutely no tricks with this whatsoever. Feel free to get up out of your seat, get in the sunshine, find a couple microwaves in the trash, use them to your advantage. Because I'll tell you, it'll be a cold winter, but it'll also be a hot one if I can get this HOH to burn a nice flame for only 20 watts. Since this is a 12 volt input and these automotive ignition coils can spark with the resonance induced in the impedance matching circuit, you could probably hook up a 9 volt battery and that would work too, just fine. These, power, these DC power supplies are a joke because it really doesn't show the full potential. I have another little cell down here which I'll go ahead and power on. Same, same assembly, just like before. This one hasn't been conditioned with a good amount of current or a good duration of time. But you can see the hydrogen definitely comes off of it quite well. This one takes about 4 watts of power, but I've gotten it down to 750 milliwatts for the same result. Really just depends on how long you run the cell. This is 5 of them in series for 17 watts and I've never seen anything like this in my life. Well, that's it. Circuit diagram available. In description.